Gang, gang, what up, Doug? Make it happen, huh? Let's do this, Doug. Thanks for answering the bell, Doug. Here, huh? What's up? Y'all got that title belt, huh? Yeah, what's up, Doug? Not much, That's your man. belt, son. Hey, you still alive, huh? Where's your glasses at? Which ones? Don't you wear glasses? Yeah. No, hell no. Oh, really? No. Oh, dude. Like seeing glasses? Yeah, in my mind, I always picture with you, you with glasses. Are we rolling? Bro. Everything is rolling. Are we rolling? rolling? Bro, I've never. You never had glasses on? Never. Really? Seeing glasses? Dude, I swear to God, every time I ever think about you, man, sometimes um, I think about you with glasses on, dude. Why? Huh? Because it's how you come across to people in their imaginations. With, with glasses? I guess. Like reading glasses? Yeah. How about the, when, when I get off stage at the lab factory? Right away, you go, bro, I figure out what you look like. I'm like, what? This is in front of a bunch of other comics. I'm like, what? You're like, you look like a Rottweiler. We got a shit together. Oh, you do, bro. Yeah. Come on, man. I'm just saying, dude. Grab that mic, son. You do, man. That's look, your belt, son. You look, here we go. To the strap, baby, come get it. Who wants it, huh? Who wants You know, I, had the, I think I had a little bit of that poor white anger. You know, the same type of just... You know, nobody gives a fuck about poor white people in America, it seems like, you know, except for poor white people. So, you know, I had a little bit of that angst. You know, I knew, dude, I mean, you know, I grew up around some fucking real crazy poor white people. You know, the dude, no arm, they had a dude in our town, no arms, used to fucking fight everybody. You know, that dude, you know what I'm saying? He'd get you in that lurch, he would catch you with his, between his chin and his chest. <laughs> he would fucking snack you like a snake. We were talking about this dude. I, his boy I, Gert was his name. I, and he would just get you like that, bro. He and he'd no, choke you down. He had no arms. No arms at all. And he'd fight anybody, dude. And he would choke you. He would. So if you went to punch him, how would he block? Oh, bro. He'd spin out of it. He'd spin, he'd duck, he'd dodge. The dude had. I mean, he just. And would he catch your hand with his neck? Huh? Would he catch your Oh, hand? he would just lurch at you. And, bro, the thing is, here was the. Oh, you know what? If he hits you with that shoulder, you're going down. Yeah, part of it. The big move was that choke. He would get, he would catch you like this. Where would he catch you? Your hand, in your neck. He would catch you neck to neck. <laughs> That's fucking crazy. Oh, once he got you neck to neck, Gert, you, but this whole family, the whole family was fucking. He could choke you out. Psychos, bro. Brother had sharpened half of his teeth on one side of his mouth, dude. These people would fuck you up. One of the kids was in a wheelchair. Or just they never taught him to walk. I think I don't even think he was crippled. They just never taught him to walk. And so the other brother would carry him on his back everywhere, like a backpack, dude, and didn't even give a fuck. Maybe it's good these people are, are away from society, an entire family? No shirts, bro. Oh Whole my God. family, zero yeah, shirts. No, nobody, those people don't wear shirts. Not The girl didn't have shirts either. They had one girl in the family. What was her name? Jessica. <laughs> she was normal? She was, you know, she was pretty nice. She was, I thought she was a sweet girl for as tough as, you know, everything that had gone on down there. And they used to put a board over the sink at night and one of them would sleep over the sinks. They had 11 children. I mean, the little, I mean, the house, no joke, was two, two of these studios, you know, and they had 11 kids in there. But yeah, it's like I grew up in, in that type of environment where it's just like, I don't know, you don't feel like anybody gives a fuck about you. So I think a lot of, it took a long time for that, some of that to get out of my system. I still feel it when I go around like really rich people who think that they know everything. Man, that stuff makes me mad, dude. It's funny. I was telling Lee that this morning I woke up. I mean, I slept so much yesterday and last night I fucking slept hard. I woke up like at fucking 4.30 in the morning wide awake, ready to fucking kill Monday, ready for (laughs) kickboxing at (laughs) 9. And I did my usual shit. I went over my audition on uh, the sides, and I wrote it out, and I wrote my stuff for the day. And then I went, and I fucked around. Then I went on Messenger. Like, you ever go on Facebook Messenger? Mm-hmm. I went on Messenger just to see, because sometimes you, messages accumulate. You yeah, know. yeah, you get some in there. I got a message this morning. It was like the weirdest thing. It was like fate. I was telling Lee when I came in. I go, Lee, were you not in the green room with me all weekend? And they go, yeah. I go, Lee, I got an email today from a couple. Yeah. I went to their Facebook page. I didn't even answer them back. But the first line was, you're a sham. Like a scam, like whatever that word is. Mm-hmm. A farce. A farce or something. Mm-hmm. Uh, we went to see you Friday night, and we could visibly tell that you were on cocaine. No. Oh, my God. They were geni- They were like drug geniuses. They had to be Rogan people. When I went back to their page... They had 10 pictures of Rogan. They wow. went to see Rogan like in eight places. 
they're the ones that always ask Rogan annoying questions on the road. Oh, like yeah. That. And Rogan will look at them like, are you fucking crazy? Oh, I lo- There's no better look than when Rogan gives when that Rogan look. When Rogan gives you that look. Are you fucking crazy? They, they just <laughs> say stupid shit to Rogan to seem intellectual. And there's 200 people behind your guy. Chit, chit, let's go. Take a yeah. hike. Take the picture and take a fucking hike. Yeah. So you could tell he's one of those guys that he'll see Rogan and right away he called me a farce, that I was obviously on cocaine, that there was no way that I was clean, that my energy levels on stage were too high for my age for me to be on cocaine. Mm. He said, but I knew how to hide it. You weren't <laughs> sniffling or wiping your nose. Yeah. <laughs> oh Dog, as soon as you do a line of coke, this shit starts dripping out of your fucking oh, nose. Dude. That's the first tell. I could I could look at somebody now. Now I could really see it. Oh, yeah. But then when I was under the influence, mm-hmm. I couldn't see it. Now I could really see it. Dude, everybody, my buddy, this one dude used to put his, he would start to get a little, do a little dust, you know, put, start touching his asshole, bro. By the end of the night, if we had a couple of bags, He'd have four fingers in his fucking ass, dude. He had like a, you know, some of those people eat their hair. You see those videos where people eat their hair, you know? He just had like a weird tick like that where he would just, I don't know what it was. He just like under the pants. He would go in the pants. Oh, in his ass, in his own ass. Oh my god. Yeah, I had a guy that used to do this. He would hold up and like he would be talking to you, and he'd go. He would just be talking and he would just flip yeah, out yeah. time to time. <laughs> oh, dude, yeah. And then I had another guy that when he get coked up, he was bald. So he always <laughs> felt like something was landing on his head. So every eight minutes he would tell you this and he would look at point to his head to tell you that look, is there a bug? Do you see it like type? But you can oh, see damn. it. That's what was like he was... wants you to be an investigator for him? Yeah, like come yeah. on, do I have anything on my head? Let me know. It's like those people that tell you your nose is clean. I got anything on my nose. Yeah. He would look at me. I could, he didn't have to say that. He would. St- <laughs> well, let's say he started snoring at 11 with me. Yeah. By 1.30, that would start. He wouldn't get paranoid. He wouldn't drive me crazy. He wouldn't Damn. say a lot of shit. He would just tell me that he had a spider on his head. <laughs> and then after two or three hours, he would start smacking his head. Oh, come on. And that's when you would fucking die of laughter. <laughs> when he would smack his own head. Be honest, Joey. After like the first couple of times he asked you, would you just start like looking above his head? Just like, I think there's something on your forehead. Oh, I tortured him for days. That poor bastard. You ever fucked that mountain dude red, though? Yeah, but that's just too much. There's something too much going on in there. Mount, Mount, Mount dude red, to me, it was just... It was just toxic. Yeah. It was like it's pure red. There's too much red dye. That's why uh, 7-Up seven, seven Cherry was perfect. Because you could tell they didn't go over the top. Yeah. It was yeah. just a little pink. It was almost yeah. a pink. Yeah, that Cherry 7-Up, bro. Oh, the Mountain Dew Red's trouble, bro. Yeah, see, look at that guy. He's in a garage. Teens dying. Oh, they die. <laughs> see, they dye their hair with that shit. It's so strong. See that? Yeah, that's I'm not, not trying good. to fuck with that. Yeah. I, what do you think that does look to your Look at insides? that kid. He's Irish now. Man, he he's, had it all. Look how much he's been drinking. Yeah. <laughs> He had it all, dude. Yeah, that can't be good for you. That can't be good for your dick. That kid leaves sugar in your stomach. If you're drinking a bunch of that, dude, you're probably... Mountain Dew, why, why, but Mountain Dew, uh, nice and cold is delicious. Soda's terrible for you, but if I'm going to drink one, Mountain Dew, Mountain Dew is nice. It's I'll so tell you what, much sugar, though. Oh, it's so bad for you. But if you're going to fuck with it, you know, I used to like as a kid, but I felt like, I felt like a pure bitch when I drink around my friends after mm. we get done from the court playing basketball. I'd be around all my black friends. Mm-hmm. I'd drink a Fresca. Really? I drink a Fresco, and my friends would judge the shit out of me. Fresco was like the should, pe- <laughs> Fresco was like the last soda you could drink as a grandparent. Dude, yeah, right. Before you but had to I just have water. Them. I yeah. love. Everyone was like, oh "What the God, fuck is that a Fresco?" Bro. I'd have my pinky up like this. <laughs> Fucking right, it's a Fresco. They're fresh though, yeah. ice cold. But my friends would judge care, the bro. fuck out of me. They're for fucking adults, dude. <laughs> no. I was crazy, man. You're drinking frescas, bro. What else were you doing, man? Dude, fresca. I make myself a nice grilled cheese. Oh, my God. And a fresca. You sound like a 60-year-old. I know. That was my favorite drink. The the fresh-ass grapefruit fresca. (laughs) Yeah. You sound like a lonely dude on a picnic, bro. I know. That's crazy. I know. Are people still molesting kids, dude? I swear to God, we were like. I feel like it's going down. Yeah. You know more white vans and shit, right? Yeah, vans are out. Um, they don't make vans anymore. Yeah, they make those sprinters, but that's for celebrities. Yeah, yeah, that's it. But there's no like murdering vans anymore. Yeah, I don't think there's any because I don't even hear like a lot of my buddies have kids and none of them have said that their kids have gotten you know it's not as crazy it's not as wild as it used to be. No, well, because now like the the word is out. If you own a white van, it's like you, you might as well just ride on the side. I fuck kids. Yeah, or so, at least like, I like just, to meet them sometimes. They're just out. You yeah. know what I'm saying? 
It's like a mall Santa. I don't fuck with them. I don't fuck with Vans. <laughs> yeah, mall all the kids Santa's know it. Though. No, out. Mall Come Santa's on, bro. or the or uh, the Easter bunnies. Yeah. Fuck you. Ah. Uh-huh. Dude, I mean, I, well, acid was like a six dollar. People were always like, acid was more popular when I was young. You, you know, for six dollars, you might fucking die, bro. You know what I'm saying? You don't know what was gonna happen with acid. <laughs> yeah, that's the saying? beauty of it. Yeah, that was the thing. That's the beauty of it. That's what I loved about it. it was like for si- and people would always complain like this acid's no good. Like it was six fucking bucks, bro. You know what I'm saying? It was three bucks when I was growing up. Yeah, you're lucky up. you're not hours. dead. You're lucky you're not dead, dude. We had this boy in Barry shirts, and he would uh. This dude, he took a hit too hard or had a bone. He might have taken like 10 or 20 hits one time. And he would start to keep an extra shirt with him, right? And change his shirt when he was tripping. And then eventually it was like two shirts and in a bag, two shirts, three shirts. He was just sweating. Oh, just snow. Not even sweating. Just switching shirts, bro. So you'd be hanging out with him. He'd leave the room and he would come back in a different shirt. And so then if you were on acid with him and you didn't know he did that shit... You didn't know he just had this kind of little psychosis thing he was going through. Where he's just switching shirts, just fucking. So then every 40 minutes, he'd have on a different colored shirt. So if you were a new person, you didn't know. You'd be like, what the fuck, man? You'd think you were tripping even harder. Dude, we had time. And I remember bad acid would come through town. And, like, everybody would start acting a certain way. People would start... You know, I remember one time people wore like a bunch of like kind of, you know, Grateful Dead type of stuff. People wore vests. They'd have like a bad batch of ass. It would come through next, you know, half the town's wearing fucking vests. You know, women are gelling their hair down. I remember one time. Um, dude, they had this one dude at this party and he'd apparently had taken a bunch of ass or he put it in his mouth. And for, you know, four bucks, whatever, he would like spit into your mouth like a hit of acid. <laughs> Why would you do something like that? That's disgusting. But there wasn't anything else to do. So, so I'm going to let some fucking stranger spit acid in my mouth. For f- Yeah. For four bucks. I can put the acid in my mouth for free. But we didn't have it. Oh, you didn't have the four bucks. We had the four bucks. We didn't have the acid. He had it inside of his system. And for four bucks or in his, you know, he put it in his mouth. And then for four bucks, he'd fucking fire it into you. So next thing you know, bro, we spent about $36. We're fired up, dude, at this dude's party. This dude, I'll tell you, this dude, Icy Mike, right? So this dude used to get ice from anywhere. Like, he would get water, and he had, like, a nice freezer. His family had one of those. You ever go downstairs in, like, some people's house, and they keep meat in, like, an extra freezer? Like, they don't want you stealing their meat, so they put it in, like, a special freezer down in the basement. Or the freezer has, like, a flat top. It has, like, a door on the top, and you open it like that. And the whole thing's a freezer. There's no refrigerator. You know what I'm talking about? Like a big freezer? Yeah, yeah, the old school. Yeah, so these people had, uh, you know, this dude, Icy Mike, would get water from different places, you know? Fucking local water. Fancy Lake Mead, Lake Pontchartrain, uh, Mississippi River, and freeze it. And then people would come over and eat the ice in the summer. We'd go over there and eat ice. He had, he had water from everywhere. He had water from Ireland, France. Like Powell, you know what I'm saying? So we'd go buy Icy Mike's and fucking have a piece of ice. He'd break you off of some fucking chunk of ice and everybody's sitting having ice from other places, you know? It was kind of... Are you sure it just wasn't... He just didn't write it on the bottle? Like it was all from his faucet? Oh, no, you could taste it. was from different places, man. Some of it was brackish. Some of the shit was fucking, you know, Iceland. Some Where did of the, Icy Mike get the fucking water from? Different places, man. He, he went himself? Oh, maybe his family went. I think his dad did some kind of traveling work. You thought he brought back gallons of fucking water? Have you lost your goddamn mind? Bro, I'm telling you, there's no other you way. You got tricked. Nah, uh there's no way he could have gotten these flavors in this water. What fucking flavors? Did they did this? They did. This. Remember when Penn and Teller did a show called Bullshit? Yeah. Twenty ten years ago in this fucking town in Beverly Hills, there was a water bar mm-hmm. where these idiots went in and they would drink fresh. Water. Let's go to the city, pick up a twenty. Four for the toll, and we'll get a six pack. Two yeah. six packs, and we'll bring up the fucking. He sun. can't have any fun anymore. I remember, that, yeah, the first time I went, dude, he was eating. I remember a couple of lesbians brought me back to their apartment, you know, and I ended up stealing a sex toy out of there because I got a little bit keyed up on some cocaine and got nervous. But you could have fun, though. Did you sniff it and jerk off? Is that why you stole oh, the sex toy? Dude, well, here's what I, I went over these. I, stole, I used to steal a chick's panties. Oh, bro. I would steal something home. every time. On the way home, I'd jerk off in the panties and throw them out of the fucking oh, car like a savage. Dude, dude. Yeah. <laughs> okay, probably <dude. laughs> <laughs> bro, one time I was with this girl and uh, I was so drunk, bro. She was driving us and I had to puke so bad and I just took my hat off my head, filled it, just vomited right into it, right? <laughs> just threw it right out the window, just kept talking to her like nothing had happened, bro. <laughs> Dude, 
it another time. This dude, my buddy Billy Conforto, rest in peace, bro. He died. He drove into an uh, embankment, but he um he used to do pills and everything, and we were bus boys together. We we're co bus boys, even though he was about thirty five or forty. You know, he looked like Don Flamenco. You know who that is from Mike Tyson's Punch Out, the little Italian guy, and he's like. No. No, no. He looked like that guy, but without the roses and about an extra twenty pounds, and he was also homosexual. But he uh, he gave me some pills, you know, gave me some somas one night or something. I think try to maybe take advantage of me. I don't remember. That's a good thing about pills is, you know, what I'm saying if you did get molested, you don't really have to remember it. But I remember uh, this girl, this hot chick that I knew was at this bar we ended up at, and I was like, I need a ride home. I mean, I was I sat in my passenger seat. She drove us home. While she's driving, I vomited all over, right? And the only thing I remember is we made plans to go to church the next morning. So in the morning, I come out of my house, have no clue how I got home, open the car door, and there's vomit everywhere except like in the shape of this woman right on the on the front car seat. And I went and over to church, and she was there, and she looked at me like I was the devil himself, man. You barked on this poor girl. Yeah, she was a sweet girl too, man. Uh, and she has children now because I've seen on Instagram she has some children. You still follow her? Yeah, I still kind of peep at her shit sometimes, dude. <laughs> but I'm, I miss old day, man. I miss doing acid. I miss. You miss doing drugs? Do you? Uh, dude, I like seeing rare things, man. They used to have. I remember they had somebody who called in our podcast and they said uh, they'd never seen a black little person before. Oh, uh, like a black midget? Yeah. And they had one in our town, dude, and he had these dreads, right? This dude named D- uh, No Dante, right? No Dante? Yeah. And he had these dreads, bro, and they we, he, they were so long, he would fucking trip over them when he was running, bro. Oh, fuck. But he was a fucking G, dude. <laughs> yeah. And he would play basketball, but he would like, he would kind of cheat a little bit because it was almost like soccer. Sometimes you'd almost catch him playing soccer, but he was so fast, you could barely see it. You like know? he would kick you with his feet, but since he was short, you'd let it slide? Yeah, you'd let it slide. Not where I come from. But you really? Go- no, 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 no. Can't have that. Yeah, man. People, I think he was like a town mascot. People loved him, man. I don't know what happened. I love, I love how you take calls on your show. You just take calls. How, how do you feel to do- I, well, I assume there's not too many people calling, like, talking shit. Like, you're not getting trolls and stuff. No, we had a guy. A lot of people will have difference of opinion. We get some stuff talking stuff. Difference like, of opinion is fine, but is, no one is going to call me like, you're the worst comic ever. You fucking suck, you hack, and then hang up or anything. I don't know. I haven't I haven't got much of that. You're good, we get man. a lot of people crying, jerking off. We've had a couple of dudes fu- fucking and no. leaving voicemails. Yeah. I'll have to do a thing. You do a voicemails? Yeah, people leave voicemails, and oh, then we play smart. them back. Oh, that's super smart. Yeah, because some of these fucking mooks, you can't have them just running. <laughs> no. You know? I, I figured you had a producer who's controlling it, be like, all right, caller seven. <laughs> Here we go. We got Jamie in Dallas. Jamie, what do you got for Theo? <laughs> Hi, Theo. I'm here, and I'm worried about my boyfriend. He's been doing a kind of ton of coke and grew a mullet out, and yeah. he's starting to act a lot like you, and are we going to make it? You know, is that like They're a like, show? Yeah, you're going to make it at least. Two years in a row, baby. <laughs> you, got, you got at least two years in you. I guess it's something like that, man. Um, yeah, it's just people just jerk. It's a lot of dudes that are just addicted to jerking off mostly and just struggling. So, struggling with jerking off all the time? Bro, that stuff's killing people, I think. Well, your boy... Uh, do they do it? You guys... Do you jerk off, Jen? Of course, man. Wow. Jen looks like a See? jerker. Really? Wow. I don't think he does. You really? Yeah. I could never picture an Asian guy doing it. When I picture it in my head, it's always a white guy doing it. <laughs> Yeah, I gotta be honest. Me too. It's usually a white dude in a corner, like yeah. in, in just in shame, no, bro. curled over, just like no, what? Like you what? caught him. what? <laughs> That's what I picture. Dude, my mom caught me when I was young. She opened the door and I was jerking off, right? Like full, like just. Oh, I was having a party, bro. Yeah, yeah, you, you know? were beating the shit out of. Oh, thing. I'd planned it, bro. I'd yeah. set an alarm, you know. What were you jerking off to? Oh, just. Just the pure imagination, bro. Just wow, like, that's weak. Pure imagination. No, this is back when imagination was good, bro. Yeah. When I had all the filters, bro. the drugs bro. and all that yeah. shit. Yeah, Oslo, when I had all the filters yeah. in my brain. And I was jerking off to I some. Pic- I picture you as a kid with a mullet, and you got, you kind of, you looked a little bit like Joe Dirt, and you got like real short cutoff jeans, your dicks hanging out the front, <laughs> and you got this mullet, and you're like dirty, no. but you just got your socks on, and you're just jacking off to like tool or something. Oh, dude. Well, my That's dude. how I picture it in my head. Oh, oh. First of all, thank you. 
That's one of the coolest things I've heard of. For small things. No, dude. I would jump up and down and jerk off on my bed. My thing was to jump to jerk off and also be jumping on the bed at the same time. Like a trampoline. Because it would get your blood bl- blood going in your body <clears throat> and then you spray out farther. Oh wow, that makes sense. <laughs> oh dude, you could fucking I mean you could put a fucking you could put a silk mustache on a plant. <laughs> You know, a plant. Oh, some bro. Wines, you? you could like, drop I'll some fuck fucking boy. You could put that fucking. You could throw a, you know, a beautiful little, um, you know, a little, uh, just a a white word curtain. You could drop that fucking mustache on a plant from about eleven feet away. Was, was there any? But I didn't. I didn't have porn as a kid. I, I didn't even have magazines. I'm at a cover of uh, this female rapper in Mercedes. She was bent over like a Cadillac. Mm. I jack off to that all the time. Yeah. She had a fat but you remember ass. what you jack off when you were young? I mean, I remember if I saw like a one. I remember my buddy's mom had a brazier one time that she would leave hanging in the bathroom, and I'd just go in there and to just, the brazier. Oh, bro! I would tie it around my fucking <laughs> face so that each cup like came over, like oh, right some weird left shit. a little bit of nose, but the nostrils were covered. So it's, just the middle. Oh, this this. Just that name. This, bro, it's that almost like huff. that Versace, the killing Versace shit. Where What's you, that? Your like, nose taint? What is this thing? That little part? Uh, I don't, your septum. No, it's your naint, isn't it? A little <laughs> bit. Gotta be. A little bit. You'd cover up so you can almost restrict your breathing. Oh, bro. So I had to breathe solely through these fucking just these straight up titty Booby shields. Holders. Yeah. yeah. Oh, those, That's what you used to like, huh? Those fucking milk holsters. Bro, I could smell the milk. I could smell the skin. I could smell the nipple. I could smell the children. I could smell all the years of my buddy growing up. <laughs> what the fuck, bro, bro? I could smell it all, dude. Wow. And it would go straight into <laughs> my head. Creepy. And that dude, I would jerk when I was sometimes when I was young, when I'd masturbate, I'd pass out. Almost like that movie Butterfly Effect. You yeah. go back in time. Did he do that from jerking off? <laughs> no, he gets a bloody nose and does it. Dude, imagine if every time you did it, you went back in time. Yes. So all these dudes just keep showing up through time. Yes. Yeah. Imagine if you went back to what you were thinking about. Oh, man. It was so much more powerful then. Now it's just like. Ah, it's because it's overrated. You you're, you joined the 10,000 club. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like those guys who hit 10,000 home runs. Do you think they give a fuck about hitting home runs anymore? Probably not. No, it gets old. Yeah. It's li- you're talking about life now. Yeah. It's like breathing now. I'm Cal Ripken now, my dick. Yeah, you're Cal Ripken. <laughs> yeah. You're the Ted Williams of jacking off. Yeah, man. Yeah. It's too much. But it's a lot for kids, man. But yeah, we went to that swingers thing and we that elevator opened up and I just remember seeing just this whole, you know, it was almost like the it was like, you know that painting that Michelangelo did where those two people are naked touching each other in the air or whatever? Sixteenth. Yeah, sixteenth chapel. Yeah. It was like that, but it was like just a bunch of just people just just guts and everything was a titty. Like everything in there looked like a titty. And it smelled like Mountain Dew Red Fritos. <laughs> yeah, it smelled like Mountain Dew Red. <laughs> yeah, it definitely had that fucking dick after scent. You oh, know? it's the worst. <laughs> Fritos up front and fucking cock in the back, boy. <laughs> dude, I went to. Uh, I said hide and go sniff, dude. You think you're getting one thing and you get another. You, you know? do not want that. I went to a swingers party on accident in Denver. It was below. We were, we were partying up top. Went below it and said, do not enter. Me and my friend's like, oh, no, get the-. he was like bumping down there. So we went down there and we realized it was a swingers party because it had a sign on it. Mm-hmm. And they had like rules. But it was like, I'd say the ratio is 10 to 1, dudes to, guy- to girls. Yeah. Not good. Not good. The, like the, the seven girls that were there and the 70 dudes, I just felt bad for them. Yeah. I wanted to be like, girl, let's get out of here. <laughs> they were... You could tell their, their their morale was not hot. Yeah, their self esteem was not booming. Well, that's why you got to have like a Robert E. Lee type of guy in there. You got to have a straight up William Wallace running up and down the you know the to line. motivate them. Yeah, to motivate these chicks at a at a at a gang bang. That's yeah, a, you got to keep the morale high yeah. because if reality hits, they go, "What the <laughs> fuck am I doing?" Yeah. You don't need that. Yeah, you need to be passing out DSW. You shoot need that coupons. Tony Robbins dick game going yeah. on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you need that dude dropping knowledge yeah. on these girls. Women, <laughs> join me. You yeah. can do this. Yeah. yeah, man. Women have put up with a lot, dude. You know they're putting up with a lot out there. So will guys just to bust that nut at those swinger things, man? Really? Well, yeah. You're waiting in line and shit. Like you're you're waiting for a ride or some shit. You know, like you. 
It's like Uber for your dick, really. At that, yeah, day. you gotta wait, man. There, there's gonna be some other dudes dropping some gifts off before oh. you get in there, man. Before it's your turn oh. to, to get your five minutes of fame. What kind of shoes do you wear? I would wear those pool shoes. I think you know, like this. You talking about shoes? the Aqua socks? Yeah. Oh, dude, nothing, nothing makes a girl up dry up fast than Aqua socks. Oh, That's on. a terrible <laughs> idea, bro. I might wear Uggs in that bitch. Oh, damn, dude. I wear some Uggs. Keep my feet warm, dude. What the fuck, bro? I might wear Uggs or my Yeezy Seven Fifties. <laughs> what? Yes. The Yeezys. The Yeezys. Bro, you're going to be fucking naked, bro. Busting nuts. Oh. Dude, I'd have to get my butt waxed, I think, bro. That's my thing. Like, I have so much hair on my butt. Like, I walk. If I'm hooking up with a chick, I walk out of the room backwards. It's really <laughs> my butt. It's that bad? It just makes it. I'm self-conscious about it, you know? Why don't you uh, Brazil and wax it? I'm just scared of that, man. I met a girl, and she waxes people's balls, too. And how yeah, they call it b and button balls. Oh. It's actually the most common practice for men. Is it? Yeah, I used to date a girl who uh, specialized in that. And she, she was like, man, 60% of my clients are men. Mm. She goes, they do the b and you want to come in? I'm like, what is it? She goes, balls and butt. They literally do all that, the taint, and then your, your booty hole. <clears throat> I, 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 I had, her, I had my, a girl try it once. Uh -huh. It's on the inside of my thigh. <laughs> mm-hmm. Never again. Hurt? I'd rather get a tattoo on my fucking face. Oh. It hurts so bad. I'd rather get that fucking Nate stamp, dude. Me too, bro. I'd get that 100%. Tat on my face. Don't name. do it, man. Yeah. But you sh if, you, if you have a hairy ass, like if I could braid your ass hair, yeah. uh, you should probably get it removed. You couldn't braid it. You could gel it down, though. Like you could his... part it to the side? Dude, I had an uncle and he had so much hair on his neck, he would gel it down for church because <laughs> he didn't want to um, shave it off because it was his hair. And it was like a thing against God. You gel down the sides, huh? Oh, he gel his whole neck hair down. You might want to gel the. You're, you basically got a duck tail. <laughs> oh, dude, a look, duck tail hanging out the back. I look like shit, man. You know, <laughs> but nobody expects anything out of me. That's the best thing. You don't think like, so? you show up? People look. You know, people ask, "Where's the honey guy?" You know, that's obviously been. Where's the yeah, honey? <laughs> we look like you've been stung by bees bro, all the time. <laughs> Why do I? Look, are you saying I'm bloated? Doesn't he? Chin? <laughs> do I look bloated? Bro, it looks like you try to drink honey right out the hive and a bunch of bees got you, bro. Wait, are you saying I'm yeah, swole I mean, or I'm fucking bloated? I mean, you're swole for sure, dude. I'd be swole too if fucking 200 bees were babysitting my face all the time. You look like you got fucking stung by a bunch of bees, dude. Bro. Where do you live at, bro? In a comb? You got to tighten up, bro. You're going to get diabetes, dude. Bro, what the fuck, dude? Come on, man. What the fuck? You got to tighten up, bro. You got that B syndrome bro, or whatever it is. you look like you hang out with rats. Bro, I look like shit. Bro, you look like the rat king. What the fuck are you talking about? You Whatever, bro. You look mullet. This ain't look, a mullet, you look, dude. You look malnourished, bro. Okay, I'll agree to that. I'll agree okay. to that. I'm you on some like bad diet, dude. But dude, not I, the cool Master Splinter <laughs> one, you know? Like you have no other choice. Oh, yeah. Like the one in that Christmas play? Like that one? <laughs> yes, yeah. not cool, man. And Nutcracker, the Rat King and Nutcracker. Oh, you look like the leader of the people in Vegas who sleep underground. <laughs> you know there's a, a community underground? You look like they're the voice of the underground. I look like I run the underground Airbnbs. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like they have to check in with yeah. you. Because you kind of yeah. got your shit together. Yeah. And now you have a belt to make you official. Oh, oh let me see man. what key. Let me get your key here. And then you just have this giant fucking rat that everyone fucking <laughs> <laughs> admires. Don't pet the Playboy. That's what I'm going to make a shirt that says that on the back. Oh, Don't pet man. the Playboy, dude. Well, the scary part is, I start to think, is this the best I'm going to look, you know? Yeah, I'm going downhill myself. Yeah, I, yeah. I got another year before people are like, oh, shit. Shop's falling off like a motherfucker. When Callum's been falling apart, man, bless his heart, dude. I saw him the other day. And, man, I don't know if they're not. I mean, I thought he was a... Look like he just went to an early movie. He looked like a senior, you know? <laughs> and it was just weird. I caught him at a glimpse and was like, oh, wow. Yeah, if the light hits his face right, you're like, oh, oh shit. Yeah. It's Somebody get this guy some jello. Someone get this guy a, a nice warm mask and some cucumbers <laughs> yeah, to relax, yeah. you know?